I was wrong. I said, I, I really want you to forgive me. One of the hardest things to do in this world is ask for forgiveness. Sometimes we do things to people and we don't realize that we even did it and we hurt them. Sometimes we do things to people and uh, we do know what we did. I remember one day I was in the store with my wife and uh, we're walking. This guy comes up from behind us, real aggressive, and he says something to us. And it made me mad. And I said something back to the guy. Then I invited him to go outside with me, aggressively. And my wife looks at me and puts her hand on my shoulder. <laughs> I looked at the guy and um, I just was like, come on, to my wife, let's go. And we walked and we finished our shopping. The guy went on his way. I, um, I didn't like that. It bothered me. So we're walking around the store and, um, I tell my wife, I'll be right back. She says, where you going? I said, I'll be right back. So I go up to the guy. My hand's like this. I said, I'm sorry. And he stepped back. I said, I'm sorry. I said, I was wrong. I said, I shouldn't have reacted like that. And I asked for your forgiveness. And he's just looking at me. And he smiled. He said, oh man, it's okay. And I said, nah, it's not. I said, regardless of what happened, I shouldn't have reacted like that. And I was wrong. I said, I, I really want you to forgive me. And I put my hand like this again, and he grabs it. And I grab him, I hug him. I said, I love you, bro. He looked back, he smiled, and he's like, I love you too, man. You know, asking for forgiveness, man, is a great thing. Sometimes it's not just for the person, but it's also for you. It could release something in you. If I didn't go and ask that guy for forgiveness, it would have bothered me. Because there would have been a guy out here that would be like, man, this dude, you know, he offended me. He did this to me. He did that. He would have all these things of who I was in his head, not knowing um, if I was a good or bad guy. And I, I didn't want that. So I wanted to make him... No, you don't know, feel, you know, okay. I, I'm putting, you, you never know what someone's going through. What if he was having a really bad day? What if his wife just died? What if something bad just happened to him? What if it's, he just lost his house or his job? And my little confrontation with him in the store set him off. He goes and does something stupid to himself or someone else. Because he's like, you know what? I had enough. I never want to be that guy. You know, forgiveness is a great thing. It's a superpower. I believe if more people apologized, asked for forgiveness, or forgave someone, there would be less wars, less confrontation. You would have less problems in the family. You know, if dad said to the sons, hey, I'm sorry, I apologize. And the son says to the father, I forgive you. It will mend relationships, fix relationships. The same goes for moms against daughters and daughters against moms. Forgiveness, apologies go a long way. Whenever I realize if I have, if I have offended someone, I apologize. I'm quick to apologize. Or if someone has offended me, regardless of what it is, I try to always forgive. I don't want to hold on to anything. Because when you hold on to 
problems, they snowball. This person offends you over here, you're holding it on. Somebody else might cut you off in a car, you hold that on. And before you know it, you're just an angry person. But if this person offends you over here, you forgive them, regardless if they ask for one, for an apology, I mean, uh, for forgiveness, it's up to us to forgive someone. Sometimes people do things to you, they don't even know they, what they did. So it's up to us to hold, that's the power that we have. You know what, man, I, I forgive them. Person cut you off, I forgive you. Why? Because you'll be a better person. You'll have a clean conscience. You'll be more pure. I love people that are um, easy going. I've seen, you know, I know a couple of people that are like that. I try to be like that. Somebody offends them or does something bad to them. And you're looking like, man, you're not going to react. And they're like, nah, it's all right, man. I forgive them. That's powerful, man. That's powerful. It's a short video today. And um, I just wanted to talk about apologizing, forgiving, because at the end of the day, it stems from love, loving your fellow man, your fellow woman, your family, forgiving, caring. It all comes from love. And I believe if more people did that, there'd be way less problems in this world, less wars. <laughs> Just forgiving, man, apologizing. Don't have to be so prideful all the time. Sometimes we lay our pride down. So if there's someone in your life that you owe an apology to, or that has asked for your forgiveness and you haven't done it, man, if you come across this video, maybe you were meant to come across this video, forgive them. Apologize and watch how much better you feel. It might just change the course of your life and theirs. There's power in that. Now go out there and use your superpower. I believe in you and you deserve to have a good life. It's your boy Gabriel Ellis. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out.